Hi everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D models. Let's navigate to the 3D Models section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high-quality 3D models, and it gets updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize a 3D model of Panel Van. Let's find a 3D model that suits us. This one is what we need. Let's take a closer look. Very cool 3D model. Let's create a new project. The scenes with vehicles have the Skybox mode enabled by default. In short, Skybox helps you display your 3D model in a specific environment. While we work on the 3D model settings, let's turn off the Skybox mode for more accuracy. Let's start. I really like the details of the model. Looks impressive. The default materials are set up very well. Let's leave them as they are. But if you'd like to change any textures or materials of this panel van, you can easily do it in Provisual. Let's customize the material of the body. In the Materials Gallery, you can select the material that suits you or easily change its color and settings. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually, like this. The body looks nice and real. Let's add a design to it. To add the design, you can click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've already prepared some images for our van. Let's add the first design element. In this window we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. See how in the left window, the position of our design is displayed on the 3D model in real time. Let's reset the coordinates of the position of our design. Now, let's add the design to the rear side of the panel van. To do this, click on the Add Image button. Let's zoom in the UV map for more accurate application of the design. Let's change the color of the design by changing the transparency of the fill color. Now let's move the design in the right place, following the UV map. Great. Let's switch the opacity to its initial position. Let's add one more element to the rear side of the car. Now let's add design elements to the front of the panel van. Great! The next step is to add the design to the lower part of the body. The final step is to add design elements to the upper part of the body. Great! We are done with applying the design to this cool Mercedes Sprinter 3D model. Let's save the design. Good result! Let's find an interesting background for our panel van. Let's see what types of pre-made backgrounds we have available. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the desired colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you.
You can turn on moving lights to see how the light can enhance the shape and texture of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Now let's go back to the environment settings and enable the skybox mode again. Let's take a look at the HDRI maps options. Wow! Just look how detailed the reflections are. This is incredible. Let's check other options. You don't need to spend a lot of time picking the right environment at all. They all are so beautiful. Perfect. Let's save the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Send it over to your colleagues, friends, or clients. And this is the end of our tutorial on creating a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.